Hi, Sheila here. A lot of clients get really upset over something someone said or someone did. And the reason they're more upset is because it's something mean or nasty that was said to them that they would not say to anyone in a million years. So here lies the problem. When you're dealing with someone who dishes out insults or mean comments without even flickering an eyelid, then how can you, who is a nice person, get inside their head? Why would they say that? Well, it's very obvious to me why someone would say something like that to you. It's because they don't think the same as you, they're not the same as you, and they're willing to go very low in an argument to places you wouldn't even dream of going. Even you might be tempted, it might be on the tip of your tongue. You'd stop yourself because you're... Your consciousness would say, I'm not going to say that thing to that person that they told me in confidence because it's really going to hurt your feelings and some things you can't come back from. It doesn't mean that the two people together can't come back from whatever is said because words are words. It means that if you're a nice person, a genuinely nice person, and you go there in yourself, you know, in the middle of an argument and you think of something really, really nasty, you know it's going to hurt the other person, and you say that against your better judgment, guess who's going to be hurting from those words? You are, because you're going to have shame and guilt and you're going to feel you let yourself down. So listen to this. I'm only going to say it once. Not everybody thinks like you. People see the world through their own lens, through their own perspective, through their own life experience. So if you have someone who's a a sociopath or a narcissist or really self-centered and attention seeking you are seeing the world through a different set of eyes than they are so they may see charitable acts as phony or fake whereas charitable acts are just that aren't they you're just doing something nice for someone without any reward it's that feeling isn't it that feeling of giving so they don't have that feeling. Imagine not having that feeling of the goodness in the world and doing nice things just for the sake of doing nice things. People who are narcissist, self-centered or selfish are going to see people do nice things and think, what are they doing that for? What's in it for them? Which is totally backwards. Okay, so not everyone thinks like you. And everyone sees the world through their own lens perspective. The best way not to get hurt in this life is to stop imagining why would someone say that or trying to figure out through your own lens, through your own reasoning and your own perspective in life, why someone would do something mean when you wouldn't do it. Never going to work. You might as well have, uh, they're speaking Chinese, you're speaking English. Neither of you understand each other. You'll never get it. So stop trying.